Hey guys, just a quick video on Zapquake. My apologies to Queen for the thumbnail, but I couldn't resist myself. We all know that an earthquake spell and two lightning spells will take out an air defense. Sometimes. But sometimes it doesn't. And that air defense, with very little health, shoots at your dragons or your loons or your hounds or whatever until they finally take it out, and it does just as much damage if, as if it was at full health the whole time it's shooting at you. So, the question comes up at least once a week, will my earthquake and lightning spells take out an air defense in war in, on base number five or whichever base? And I'm going to, in this video, tell you the answer to that question, no matter what level your spells are and no matter what level the air defense is. We'll end with a screen that you can do a screenshot of that will be a handy dandy reference. It's something I printed out a long time ago uh, for myself, put all the numbers in Excel and came up with this ginormous chart and squeezed it down to the essential information because I was never sure and I didn't want to have to go look it up every time. So here we go. These are the eight levels of air defenses. At this point in your Clash of Clans career, you should pretty much be able to recognize these on sight. Most of them you can just count the number of rockets sticking up and you'll know what level it is. That works until level 7 and level 8. Level 8 is very distinguishable because it just looks scary if you have to attack it. So, you know what level spells you have and you can quickly identify what level the air defense in the base is that you're going to attack. So here is my handy dandy chart. Air defenses are listed in the first column in white, level 1 air defense through level 9 air defense. Lightning spells are listed across the top in that second row, level 1 lightning spell through level 7 lightning spell. Now we know there are four levels of earthquake spell. So when you look at this chart, if it says nope in the box, that means lightning spells of that level will not work no matter what your earthquake spell is against that level of air defense. So for instance, if you go across on a level 7 air defense, if you have a level 1, level 2, level 3, or level 4 lightning spell, there's no combination with any level earthquake spell that's going to get you there. But on that level 7 air defense, go across on row 7 there, if you have a level 5 lightning spell, two of those with a level 3 earthquake spell will take that out. Likewise, if you have a level 6 or level 7 lightning spell, you can have any level of earthquake spell and take out that level 7 air defense. So if you have a level 1 lightning spell, and a level 4 earthquake spell, the only thing you can take out is a level 1 air defense. If you want to take out a level 8 air defense, you must have at a minimum a level 6 lightning spell and a level 2 earthquake spell. I hope after you look at this for a minute you'll figure out kind of how I've arranged it. In all the green boxes when it says any earthquake that means for that level of lightning spell, any level of earthquake spell, level 1 through level 4, will work. The white boxes are where some earthquake spells will work and lower level ones won't. The pink boxes or red boxes are where no combination of that level of lightning spell and any level of earthquake spell will work for that particular level of air defense. So, again, I hope you can maybe have a chance to screenshot this. Uh, it's an easy way to get there, figuring out what will work, what won't work, without having to go and do the math and say, oh, well, it's this earthquake spell does 24%, so I take 24% off the hit points for that particular level of AD, and then I've got, that leaves me with so many hit points and my two lightning spells do a combined damage of this many hit points, and do I make it or do I not? That All the math is behind what's on this chart. This is actually a large page in Excel with every bit of the statistics and the math in it. Um, this is just squeezed down for you in a way that uh, avoids having to do math because like who likes doing math? Well, I, actually I sort of do but um, that's a whole other story. Hope this helps.